Yeah. Okay, this is Jason Nulet. Did I pronounce that right? Yep, yep, Ulet, cool. yep. And he has just written a new book called Development, development with the Force.com platform. Great. So, uh, d- who's the book for? Books for existing developers that want to get started with Force.com, building apps. Um, it's, uh, it assumes some knowledge, uh, you know, of say Java.net, relational databases, yep. and that's and one of the things I like about the book because it doesn't teach you what CRM is. In fact, it skips that whole side and just goes straight into Force. That's what I thought was confusing when I was learning Salesforce is what's the difference between the applications in Salesforce and the platform? And, you know, I, I definitely call that out and, and steering you away from looking at opportunities and contacts and all that. And just what can you do with your custom objects to store your data and build your applications? So, mm-hmm. And lots of sample focused. code? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I have a lot of screenshots and a lot of sample code because I like to learn by just poking the system. You know, like, here's a line of code. You can execute it right away and see what it does. So here's what it's supposed to do, and here's how you can kind of prove that it works that way versus telling people. And, I, you know, I try to get away from marketing, and I try to get away from general cloud computing or sales around, you know, I don't know, the superiority of this platform versus anything else. I'm just, here's the information. You know, you're a developer. You can decide whether it's the right tool for your app. So... And is it more of a tutorial or a, a reference book? It's more of a tutorial. I think the mm-hmm. reference material is all available out there on the mm-hmm. web, and it's mm-hmm. going to be more mm-hmm. up-to-date and more detailed than this. So for deep dives on different subjects, you know, the book is a jumping-off point, but you still need to go online and go to Salesforce's own resources. They already have reference guides. I didn't want to write a reference guide. Right. But at the same time, you have to make it reasonably complete. Otherwise, you know, it's, uh, you're, you're missing information. So it's a, it's a fine line between tutorial and... Uh, and reference guide somewhere in between okay and is there anything in there that you particularly proud of your research to to explain something that isn't out there normally um i visual force chapter was you know the most challenging chapter because mm. i had trouble with learning visual force it took me a while to get it and i don't know that i accomplished what i wanted to in terms of getting getting that across of how to how to use it and what it does how it's architected and um so that was a challenging chapter i don't like i said i don't know how successful i was was but i was proud of the apex code chapter because I think it enumerates like a lot of governor limits and a lot of how object-oriented stuff works that isn't really that well covered, I think, or, you know, is it, it's all out there, but it's in little tiny pieces, and I just wanted to bring it all in one place and make it easier to read. So I, I like chapter five. It's kind of the heart of the book, okay. the Apex Code chapter. Great. And uh, will you sign my book? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Thanks.